We've been fighting world-class fighters since very, very early in Joe's career. Um, if you look at the resumes of Joseph Parker and Anthony Joshua, Joseph Parker's resume is far stronger than Anthony Joshua's. Joshua's got two names on his resume. He's got Vladimir Klitschko at the age of 41, and he's got Carlos Takam, who took the fight on 12 days' notice. We have much stronger names. Believe me, when we fought Takam, we gave him three months' notice. When we fought the 29-0 Andy Ruiz, um, he had two months' notice. Um, Dimitrenko, uh, the undefeated Huey Fury that no one wants to fight. We have much better names on our resume. Right. Okay, uh, yeah. Kevin Barry obviously supporting uh, his fighter ahead of that uh, showdown in Cardiff. And you, you, you're smiling all through all uh, that press. Uh, any particular reason why? Because he's just talking. Uh, he's, <laughs> no, so not. He, he's now mentioning uh, Takam and Klitschko as the only guys Joshua, Joshua has fought. And I think he's only mentioning Takam because Takam is one of the biggest names uh, that his, Parker uh, has fought. Because yeah. I wouldn't even put Takam on the list of Joshua's fights. You know, I'll put a Dillian White ahead of Takam. This is me talking. Uh, yeah. You know, so. Uh, Come on, man. It's, yeah, why? It's, it's, it's come on, she no. <laughs> But, but uh, Tyler was yeah. at the presser for Joshua and Eric Colina. Right. And, you know, Eric Colina's coach went this way also. Mm. And then I asked Joshua, and he says, but that's not the coach that will fight. <laughs> <laughs> Molina, Molina, I know. Molina. So, so it's also yeah. from Molina the coach. Molina was also another big name that Joshua was. Molina, really? Yes, yes, really? Yes. Uh, uh, that's enough of all this talk to spot me. Yeah, We're going to be hearing a lot more from the boxers, definitely, before Saturday. Mm. And we can't wait for the weigh-in as well to... Uh, and the face off between these two guys. Let's move on. Uh, let's come back home and talk about Blessing Okagbari, right. uh, the queen of the track. Mm. Uh, she's back, you'd oh, say, wow. because over the weekend she broke Marion Onyali's 22 year 200 meters record. Awesome. I mean, so this one just came out of mm. the blues because usually um, when you're starting a new season, uh, you're supposed to start gradually and start. Yeah. But she's just come out straight out of the blocks and That's she's right. clocked. 22.04, over 200 meters. Awesome. Chinas, yeah, and she's mm. just trying to tell us that, look, these persons are forgetting me gradually. They're not talking about me. Right, let me give them something to talk something about. Something big. <laughs> Queen, she called me on Yale and says, your record has stayed for 22 oh. years. Can I smash it? Wow. She did. You know, but, but the thing here, we have to be careful because, you know, when... Uh, Athletes always should know how to condition themselves mm. uh, getting into the season. And, you know, starting like this, I hope she doesn't, no, go you know, fizzle down, out. Because right. it's, it's, you, you, normally you start gradually and you keep and getting peak. times, you know, better times. Okay. Uh, I just hope that... I, I, let, let's imagine that she will have a, a fantastic season because if she starts this way, yeah. let's hope she will only get better from This there. will motivate her. Yeah. It should. Yeah, it should. Breaking yeah. Onyali's uh, 1996 uh, so bronze, winning, mm. bronze medal winning efforts mm. in the, in and, the and meters. As the queen that she, that she is, Mary Onyali, went to social media and says, congratulations. Oh, she did. Yeah, I love oh, this. Uh, the record is coming back home. Yeah, yeah. I know. That's, that's <laughs> massive love. That's encouraging. And of course, she, she should be happy because with what we, we, we're seeing the Ivorian girls do, mm. you should be worried that, that they worry might that. take away yeah. the record away from Nigeria. Right. Yeah, oh, so okay. it's good so it's to stay with us. Congratulations. Congratulations. To, yeah. uh, Taya, so let's find out what One people are saying. Yeah, yeah, quickly, let's, um, let's look at what uh, Complete Sports is saying. And uh, it's not very good news. Uh, we all knew this. Uh, a table out of Serbia friendly. The injury is still ongoing. And uh, hopefully, I uh, can get back to full fitness. Uh, ASAP. Uh, also on uh, complete sports and uh, Serbia versus Nigeria, Balogu Abdullah in fitness race. So, uh, not the kind of news you want to hear uh, going uh, into this game. Hopefully, it's nothing uh, too serious. Ambrose charges, he goes to beat Serbia. Okagbari smashes on the right. his African record. I mm. think that should have been the major mm -hmm. headline for me. <laughs> but complete sports, uh, they have the reason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just the side. <laughs> It's complete sports, come okay, on, it should so be sports, not football. Yeah. Uh, so which one would you like to like, just have a start back quick with uh, go? Well, uh, 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 Balogo and Abdullahi, fitness race. Yeah. Balogo, please, we know your history with injuries. Please, no, no, no. please try and, try and be consistent no, no. till after the World Cup, at least. Yeah, but that's, but that's why we have... Um... Um, a quality side is Chido Zia Wazi. Yes, yeah, Kenneth Omeru, so, uh, Stephen Eze. Uh, let's just hope that you do that. Okay, full time on the show, Austin. Uh, thank you very much for coming on the show, yeah. uh, Chino Zia. Always a pleasure. Your time. Always a pleasure, Austin. Oh, okay. and Taya. We'll get you on Monday again. Many thanks uh, for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm Taya so Thank you so much for watching. Remember, we can do this again tonight. I'm Austin Okonakman. In everything you do, remember, let's keep talking sports. Bye for now.